Now this particular aquarium here um, has very bad surface agitation. So you can see that the surface tension is super high and that means that your gas exchange is going to be very bad. So your dissolved oxygen level is going to be low, your redox potential is going to be low. So what we're going to do in this tank is add an aerator and the aerator is going to throw lots of oxygen in the water. It's going to break up the surface of the water and the fish will be a lot happier. Now what you don't want to do is look at a situation like that and think that that's aeration because it's not aeration because this pump is coming straight from the filter and the filter will have billions of bacteria in the filter and those billions of bacteria are going to suck all the oxygen out of the water. So what I'd like to see happen is this get shortened to it's about the surface of the water so when it pumps it agitates and then this is to be viewed as re-aeration as opposed to aeration and a lot of this will come down to how many fish is in this tank the more fish that's in the tank and as the fish grow their oxygen load is going to increase um, how much that they demand of the redox potential and so forth is all going to over time increase which is tolerable at the moment because all the fish are quite small but increasing surface agitation increasing oxygen increasing um, redox potential are all things that i'd want to see happen as quickly as possible and i would want to probably fatten the fish up a little bit so these fish are not skinny in a way that i'm actually concerned about the health of the fish but they're just a little bit skinnier than i'd wish them to be um, if I was trying to get the best results out of these particular fish.